Butardol, smoking ball, butardol, spiquilín, diquelando de sorda de jabalí y hurón. Butardol, smoking. Join us on a road trip through six destinations, with 22 days of non-stop hunting after one species, with only one objective, to experience stack culture.
Nieto. Sheiko, chavales, chavales. Sheiko, chavales. Espera, espera. Vamos. Joder. A ver, quítate que mira a ver si está. Thanks God I was saying, wait until he's completely broke No, por eso, aquí. Vamos, esto, se ha tumbado los cuernos del suelo. Quietos. Quietos en cinco minutos. Joder, papá, vaya tiro. No vas a hello for Vamos, chaval, vamos. Igual es el primero de ayer. Sí, va a ser el primero de ayer. Okay. Sí, no, no. It's not the the one from last night. It's the one from the from the morning. Vaya talegazo y diciendo que no tire, que no tire. We are in the Sierra de la Cabrera, in the province of Zamora. We come from hunting in Gredos, and now we have been to this tremendous sierra, absolutely wild, absolutely beautiful, but very tough. I have some problem with my knee because I wounded in the in the Gredos and so I was worried I couldn't walk and I could walk difficult but I walked all day yesterday and I walked I, I did I thought to quit yesterday because I couldn't move my knee. But we saw one beautiful, beautiful stack. So I decided to come again this morning in, in order to, to look for the for the big stack. And uh, this is it. We arrived in the place we planned. We saw the stack. We climbed a little bit with some difficulty, but uh, it's a beautiful place. Better weather than yesterday because the wind is a little bit less and the temperature is a little bit better, but not good. Eh? <laughs> not good <laughs> in any case. Uh, so Pedro and Samuel saw the stack from far away and we climbed the mountain. We arrived to some rocks and The stack was with three or four females, no? And well, it was 300 meters, and with the three or eight, that we shot it in flat. Stoned. <laughs> Stoned it. Beautiful. So now we have to go to the stack that is the most difficult part of the day, because we have to cross all this brush, and I don't know if we will arrive or not. Thanks to Samuel and you and all the team and Pedro. We made a great and wild, wild, real wild hunt. Beautiful. Congratulations, eh? Bueno. Batman's hide. Batman's hide. <laughs> Let's go no check it out. Easy. Congratulations. No, no, no. Si ese es nuestro pepino. Y además es nuestro venado. De, de sangre por lo mismo y el perro. O sea, que te quiero decir, yo en cambio... Oh, no, no pasa nada. No, no. Espera, espera, calma. Es que hay aquí unos agujeros. La ¡Ay, la rodilla esta! Beautiful, beautiful, super old stack, and the place couldn't be more wild and more beautiful. More wild has been a beautiful stack, stock, and the stack roaring and huge. Yeah. Eh. Contento, no? Okay. Contento. Okay. Butardol, smoking ball. Butardo, espiquilín, diquelando de sorda de jabalí y hurón. Butardo, smoking. That's product placement. We just moved the stack ready to prepare all the meat and we were touching the skin trying to find the exit and the, the bullet is right here, you can feel it in the skin. Let's take it out.
Here it's the bullet, the animal drop on the spot. For this trip, we are using a 308, and the cartridge that we, my dad is shooting, it's a Hornady ELDX Precision Hunter, 178 grains, and the mass retention of the bullet has been great, and the whole energy got inside the animal's body, and that's why it drops on it drops on the spot without not knowing what happened and beautiful, beautiful, sh mature stack down. Okay, Samuel, vamos, al lío. <coughs> Today we are only two people, so it's going to be a 33% heavier pack out. Always, when you guys load up a, a, a big weight from, from a backpack, do it here on the ground and rotate, so, so you stand up with the legs and you don't break it. This looks really nice on video, but it's 90% pain. Well, there's some joy on it, but ah, it's heavy. How heavy do you think it is? 40? About 40. I need to wait. I'll try it on when we get to the top, Pedro. You don't want to try it now? I'll try it. Do you want to swap? Let's swap. I'll give you the camera. Come on. I'll give you the camera. These bags that they let the meat breathe here from the last year, so we had to use plastic bags, but the meat will warm up way quicker, so as soon as you can, just put it on. Put it on game bags, and leave it a couple of days on a good cooler with ice, so all the meat, all the blood comes out of the meat. What, we what? may have to grind the whole the whole meat to make it fit because it's kind of tight. You think it will close now? Maybe not. Alright. And now the real test is if this thing is gonna hold because it was for 40 kilos and definitely we don't have 40 kilos in here. Well I think that we have enjoyed very much these four days, eh? because we have been in two different and very wild places and beautiful places and we have worked a lot. Uh, we have seen some stacks, we have uh, enjoyed, we have been lucky. Um, I would say it's a great experience because to know different areas for the rea is very, 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 very nice. And, and I think you, you continue your trip. I have got enough. I am tired, I have my knee broken, and, but I have enjoyed very much the hunt because the company, the people, the conversation, the different areas, the different uh, situations and beautiful experience. And I will have to repeat that. No, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. And thank um, you to and you. Thank you for, uh, thank you for persuading Pe um, Pedro not to go across the other side of the valley. Oh, yes. I think it was a very good idea yeah, at the end of the morning. That, <laughs> me <and Lewis. laughs> Meet out, cars loaded, and now 
we're gonna make the plan for the afternoon. We don't have time to get all the way to the Pyrenees because it's like an eight and a hours and a half drive. So I think it, since this is not the big stack that we saw yesterday, we may give it a try for the afternoon, come back here in the afternoon and see if we see the, the, the other stack that was coming out here. And tomorrow morning we go to the Pyrenees, but let's give it a last chance. We're gonna go for this one. This is a really big stack. This is the one that we saw yesterday. We know where it's at, so hopefully this afternoon you like the you, plan or not? You never ask what the cameramen want to do. You're not a very nice guy. I know what you want. You want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, guys want to sleep all the time, so it's easy to guess. <laughs> okay, good for now. See you later.
Lo vi la cabeza. Me da, ¿no? ¿Eh? Me da, ¿no? ¿Dónde va? Aquí abajo, aquí abajo otra vez. Pero más cerca o no? Va a la, a la, a la piedra plana. Va a la piedra plana. La piedra ¿Por de debajo? A la piedra plana a la izquierda. ¿Por debajo? Sí, por debajo. ¿Crees que va pegado? No ha sonado impacto, ¿no? It didn't sound like a hit. I could barely see it. Lo siento, tío. Sorry, guys. I couldn't barely see it. Sorry. That was the big one. It was 10 minutes more light and we will have this. Samuel. Perdona, tío. We came to the shot. We have found blood and I don't know. According to Samuel, he thinks that the shot might be a bit far back, but it's there is blood in, on the tracks. He's running very strong downhill. He started running uphill actually, and then started coming downhill very fast. So hard to tell how good the shot placement is. It's going to be a no, long he's night. He's in the back because when when you shot him, he started jumping from the back, and then he came straight down. But we have to consider that. This kind of of red stag are proper strong, and this one was like a cow, like a bull. So yeah, it was very big, and it's hard to tell because there was barely no light. So we we'll have to be patient and see tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, when coming with the dog at eight. Yeah, tough animal for sure. Okay. Fuck, I feel terrible. Sorry, Samuel. We'll find him for sure. And sorry for the whole team, and sorry for everyone watching. Yeah.